A school resource officer says the call came from a block number threatening to shoot up Crestview High School. When the lockdown went into place, several students jumped into action. Me and a few other people would like grab brooms or like music stands just in case. Tyron Atchison and Cable Farr are sophomores at the high school. We turned off the lights and instantly went to a like corner in the room where they can't see us. Others texted family members about the situation. Lieutenant Brandon Findlay is a school resource officer with the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office. <laughs> Crestview police and sheriff's deputies responded to the high school and Davidson Middle School after an anonymous caller dialed in the threat to the high school office. Sad that it's common, but uh, I don't know what type of personal satisfaction these people would get out of creating this this nightmare for these kids in these schools. It's, uh, it's ridiculous in my opinion. Students and parents were grateful the threat wasn't real. When parents finally got a call, the lockdown was over. The lockdown has been lifted at this time in consultation with law enforcement. It left some students and parents frustrated over the panic the hoax created. That was just a waste of very important time people um, could have been using to like actually help other people and said they were doing with a prank call. It's very scary um, as a parent to know that your kid's under lockdown, but it's our, unfortunately, it's our <laughs> kind of the day and time that we're in nowadays. The false swatting threat is a second degree felony in the state of Florida. There's now an investigation into who made the call. In Crestview, Yona Govino, WEAR News.